Everybody, thanks for joining us on today's exotic car video. These people say, well, Tone, it's a Supra. I mean, it's not really a McLaren 720S or an Aventador. You know what? Forget all that for a second. Those cars there, great cars, no doubt about it. But this car right here has got incredible styling. I'm gonna take you for a walk around this car because here's what happens to me all the time. Someone will come up and say, man, that's a great looking car, but they never really know why it's a great looking car, right? They just have this, wow, that's a great looking car. This car starts with so many styling features. Yes, it shares a lot of BMW parts and things like that, but looks nothing like the BMW. And you have Toyota's hand in here, right? So for instance, like these individual headlights there, this fender vent here, Right? As we look inside here, this cutout for in here, and then in the back we have an exit. So there's so many pieces of this car that say race car. Like this is a typical spoiler you might see on race cars, and so many features are built into it. Not to mention then they throw in the luxury stuff like radar cruise control, heads-up display. I mean, it's like loaded and loaded and loaded with stuff. This one even came to us with a clear bra. This car stickered for right around $67,000 when, uh, when they were selling it new. We kept all the, those pieces in, the, in there. This is a one owner car and this is the way to buy it, man. It's got a few thousand miles on it, maybe three or 4,000 miles on it. And it's just a cool, cool piece. All right, so let's talk about the quality of paint. Obviously the person that cares about this car, very much like yourself, had the clear bra already installed, saving you some money again there. And this is the way to buy a car, man. It's one owner driven by somebody who cared obviously from, from these kinds of things and the condition of it, it's garaged. I don't think it's ever been in the rain. The wheels are in beautiful shape. You got the Michelins all the way around. But let's look at the paint for a second because I really like to talk about that and make sure that you can read every letter that's in there. You wanna make sure that you can read every letter, right? Nice and crisp, all the detail of it, not just see the letters, but read each and every one. All right, so peek under here for a second. They do a nice job. First off, look how much room is in here. You can actually work on it. Nicely labeled, nicely detailed, what have you. However, let me tell you something. There's some mods out there to add a lot of power to these things, a lot more power if you want it. It makes plenty of power and it's super fast as it is already. But the part I wanted to show you was that all of the decals and stickers are still kind of in the places that they're supposed to be. Why is that important? That's important because that means that this panel hasn't been replaced, meaning it hasn't been in an accident, right? This is what you should be looking for when you're buying a car. For instance, here, instead of having it on the dash there only, they went ahead and stamped it on this inner fender panel. If it's been in an accident and they had to replace that, that would be missing, okay? That's the kind of stuff you should be looking for when buying a car. There's a lot of cars that will be less money, right? A lot of cars that will be less money, but they come with baggage. All right, so the back of this car is as good looking as the front, right? Here we have the exits for uh, the fender vents that would have come there on a race car, cooling down the brakes, right? The center light here for uh, the different series of racing, giant exhaust pipes, but it's also functional. You say, Tone, how can a sports car like this that looks like, a, like an out of this world race car be functional? Well, you're right, but check this out. All this room in here for soft luggage, right? And uh, we installed the, the tag bracket. Uh, so we did the, the tow hook mount bracket instead of drilling a bumper. It comes with the bumper mount one if you wanna put that on, but we don't like to drill the bumper because the bumper is so good looking. The mug of that car is great and this covers part of it. Um, and that's what we did. It's got a beautiful mat in here. It's just detailed, man. This is not a, a cheap build car. It's got like a quality feel to everything about it. Not to mention, great style. All right, so come join me in here and I'll tell you why uh, this piece of the video is important. Because I'm 6'1 and my legs are extended all the way to the very end. So this is a car for uh, taller people, right? The interior is fabulous. It just is. It's just so modern and so great looking. The stitching that matches the silver on the outside of the paint, little touches like that. This piece right here, so nice. Stitching in the dash, carbon here. Just fabulous. So, and then you throw in a lot of the safety stuff. Like you can't see it right now because the car's not running, but it has heads up display, which projects on there, the tachometer, uh, the speedometer, uh, what gear you're in, right? You can set it up however you want to show the messages on the screen. So you never have to look at the dash. You could just be driving the car. It's just a great car. I don't know. I get excited about it because it's just a cool, cool piece. The styling is spectacular. I keep talking about it because it's great. Anyway, so back inside, and a lot of the modern stuff as well, like heated seats, uh, obviously heating, air conditioning, power windows, cruise, stuff like that. Media control here, 
very detailed. I believe this is wireless charging as well, which is kind of nice, which is a great feature. And this is a GR edition, so you're getting a very special car. Remember, it's a first year car, and a lot of us have missed out on first year future collectibles. This potentially could be one of those cars, especially since they built so few of them. All right, so let's close up the video on what could be a future collectible classic. Look at old Supers, man. They have gone up in value so much. This is a first year uh, car, 2020, and it's a GR edition, and it's loaded with equipment. I look and I smile at this car because the styling of it is so great. Each time I walk around, I see something new, like these cutouts inside here, just the grill of this car, the front bumper, the vents, the humps, the lumps, the bump. They're so good looking and a great driving experience. If you're using the paddles, it is so driver engaged. You can actually use a shifter if you'd rather. Whichever way you want to drive the car, it is an awesome, awesome car. Anyway, call us 301. 816-1000 will tell you all about this 2020 Toyota Supra. And if you would, please make sure you like the video, uh, share it with your friends. And if you could, subscribe to the channel. Each time we get a new video, it'll send you a new one.